everyone has been super excited about the kickoff of the 2021-22 season. From players, trading teams, to learning impressive skills over the summer break and more intriguing things. However, the start of the 2021-22 season hasn't particularly been great for the Brooklyn Nets. Do you want to know why? Well, for starters, the team started the season without one of their star players, Kyrie Irving, and now Kevin Durant has got himself mixed up in a little scandal. In today's video, we're going to tell you about Kevin Durant's outrage on the court towards Kelly Olenek. What happened on the court? It's barely two weeks into 2021-22 season, and these NBA players are already spicing the season up with some drama. And as always, you can expect Kevin Durant to be involved. The Nets had an outing against Detroit, and with Kyrie Irving on board, Kevin Durant and James Harden have been holding the fort pretty well. While James Harden has been slowly working his way back into the game shape and getting his rhythm back, KD, aka the Slim Reaper, came to the Pistons game with an average of 28.5 points, 10.2 rebounds, and 5.3 assists per game, carrying a significant burden for the team. However, he didn't get to rep the team for very long during the game as he was ejected from the court. Here's a quick rundown on what went down. Anyone who watches the NBA knows that Kevin Durant always gets mixed up in one altercation or another, so it wasn't much of a surprise when after 27 minutes in his game against the Detroit Pistons, KD seemed to be a bit frustrated, and he took it out on the Pistons' big guy, Kelly Olenek. If you didn't watch the game, here's what the Slim Reaper did. He shoved Kelly Olenek to the floor, but not before giving him a nice clean jab with his elbow to Olenek's face. Did you think they'd let him go scot-free for that? The referees charged him with a flagrant two after the incident was reviewed. Don't go searching. I'll tell you what a flagrant two is. This is when a player makes an unnecessary and excessive contact against an opponent. Katie's actions were deemed as a flagrant two by the officials, and this fetched him an ejection from the game. You see, fans can't help but ask what prompted Durant to act in such a manner. Thankfully, a clip showed us his reason for shoving Olenek. Why Kevin Durant hit Kelly Olenek. According to a clip making media rounds before the incident happened, Durant was a bit tossed. Kelly Olenek had set a screen for Sadik Bay, and at that moment, Durant pursued and collided with Olenek, and after initial contact, Durant raised his right hand high, and his his elbow hit Olenek to the face, and he immediately shoved him to the ground. Although it was later obvious that Katie's reaction resulted from an aggravation, it was generally agreed that the step he took was quite far, and an ejection was a suitable penalty for his actions against Olenek. Kevin Durant himself watched the replay of the incident on the court, and he admitted to seeing his arm extend a bit. Although according to him, he was just trying to run through the screen. Kevin played a great deal during this short time in the game, before leaving, he had 23 points and 5 assists, so it was a bit sad when he left because Durant is the Nets' star player right now, so everyone was puzzled about how they were going to survive the game without Durant. The Nets game after KD's ejection. Thankfully, Kevin Durant exit didn't do any damage to the Nets' game that day. The Nets entered the game against the Pistons with a 3-3 record, which placed them second to last in the Atlantic Division, and the Nets led 85 to 68 when Durant left and eventually won 17 to 91. Before KD left the game, he scored 23 points on 10 of 13 shooting and at the same time he got called for flagrant two foul, the Nets were already leading by 17 points. Despite his ejection, KD still scored the highest points in the game. No doubt the Brooklyn Nets had high hopes for the 2021-22 season, but things haven't been going as they planned. For starters, they have to kick off this season without all star point guard Kyrie Irving, who remains away from the team while he's yet to receive his COVID-19 vaccination. Kevin Durant is ranked third in the NBA, with 28.5 points per game, and also leads Brooklyn in rebounding 10.2. He seems to be the team's messiah at the moment, and hasn't exactly received the help he needs to push the team forward. Besides, he has had two issues with officials in just two weeks of the season. Also, his fellow All-Star James Harden hasn't exactly had the best kickoff this season. 
he's been off to a slow start with 18.7 points and 8.0 assists. True NBA fans will remember that Harden suffered a hamstring injury last season, which affected his games equally. However, he slowly is trying to get his rhythm back as he slowly recovers. So far, the Nets have averaged 102.5 points through six games this season, which ranked 25th in the NBA. The team has a major slack in defense, which they are yet to pick up on, ranking 15th with opponents averaging 106.8 points. Fans' reaction. When it comes to NBA controversies, you can trust KD to top that list. He's been involved in so much drama in the NBA, and fans always have a thing or two to say about his actions. For this recent incident, a lot of fans found it rather funny than violent. Fans took to Twitter to react to Slim Reaper's actions. One fan said, KD out here swinging MMA elbows, SMH. Another fan tweeted, damn, can't even defend the KD in that one. He went high with that elbow. However, that wasn't what was surprising about the fans' reactions. Some of the fans were quite happy that Durant's elbow said hello to Olenek's face. I mean, one fan literally tweeted, I'm completely fine with Kevin Durant throwing elbows at Kelly Olenek. Another fan said, Disagree with the call. KD was trying to make the world a better place by shaving Olenek's peach fuzz neck beard with his elbow. What can I say? Maybe they aren't fans of Olenek. Well, it doesn't matter if they aren't Olenek's fans because his fans had his back on the street of Twitter as well. One of his fans tweeted, KD should probably get a suspension for those elbows. There were a ton of fan reactions as expected, but most fans weren't just upset about the elbow incident, but also KD's first incident this season. Oh, you have no idea what Kevin did, right? Let me fill you in on that. Kevin Durant's previous controversy. Did I mention that KD always gets mixed up in controversies? I probably did, but it happens so often that I have to say it again. During the Brooklyn Nets game with the Indiana Pacers, Kevin Durant was fined $25,000 by the NBA. I bet you're thinking, what did you do this time, Durant? Well, here's what's happening. After the play was stopped with a foul while Durant was driving, instead of handling the ball to the referee, he fired the basketball into the stands with 4-4 remaining in the third quarter. Crew chief Sean Wright told a reporter after the game that in real time, the official who made the call didn't think the ball entered the stands with force. But Wright admitted that after watching the video replay after the game, Durant should have been ejected from the game. In his words, in real time, the official that made the call did not think the ball entered the stand with force. After seeing the video post game, we did see that the ball did go into the stands with force and Kevin Durant should have been ejected. According According to Kevin Durant, he was trying to hit the backboard and he shouldn't have done that in the first place. While speaking about the incident, Durant said, I don't know man, I thought I was at the gym by myself and in a pickup game, not an NBA game, but I can't do that. I could have cost my team the game, but it won't happen again, I hope so. Durant went on to say, I didn't know you could get ejected over that. I'm glad I stayed in the game. I'm sure a hefty fine is coming, but I don't mind giving. This didn't stop the NBA from slamming Durant with a huge fine of $25,000. Durant finished with 22 points and 11 rebounds in a team-high 37 minutes of playing time as the Nets beat the Indiana Pacers 105-98. Anyway, it was barely a week after this incident and the debate on whether he should be ejected from the game that Durant was eventually ejected. Many fans have been asking if he has been suspended. Well, not yet. If he keeps going at this pace throughout the season, Durant will most likely face possible suspension. Do you think Kevin Durant will be suspended before the end of the 2021-22 season? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for this channel. We have loads of exciting content for you.